Council has cracked the whip on states for not submitting data on air pollution. Ashmit Kumar has been tracking that hearing and he's getting us a detail. Ashmit, the air pollution and what diesel vehicles are doing to cause it, I mean, that's the big raging debate right now. What was the latest at the NGT today? Well, the NGT is clearly considering the option of perhaps extending the ban across all states, and that's something that's on the cards now. And in pursuance of that, what we understand is that the NGT had directed other states, various states, in fact, all the states, uh, to uh, submit data with respect to cities that are worst affected, uh, the number of cars in such uh, the number of vehicles uh, in such cities, the number of uh, people living in such cities, and had sought the latest data available on that. Uh, what we understand is that a number of states had failed to submit the data, and that's what, in fact, inspired some very, very tough comments uh, from the NGT. The NGT said that uh, it appeared from the conduct of the states that they were taking the orders of the NGT lightly, that they were joking about it, that it's time uh, to begin taking this matter seriously. The NGT also, in fact, threatened that it will issue bailable warrants against chief secretaries of all states in case of non-compliance with its uh, uh, request, with its information, with its uh, uh, order, just seeking disclosure of information on pollution levels and vehicle uh, uh, density levels. And that's something towards which tomorrow has been set as the final deadline. Tomorrow, all states are required to come forth and submit the relevant data. And it's after that that we understand that the NGT will begin to take uh, a calculated uh, uh, order with respect to whether or not to proceed with expanding the scope of the order. So that's the subject matter here. Tomorrow is when we can expect more clarity. Okay, all right, Ashmit. Uh, thanks for following that hearing up for us. Uh, just